What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert, continuing the Tamer playthrough, taking our break from the Bless Unleashed beta, but we'll be back to that in the coming days. Obviously, you guys know today is this video, and tomorrow is the Sork video, so it'll be Saturday before we return to that. But let's get into this. I've missed my BDO. Gotta get back used to... Um, combos and figuring out what I like for this character. It's got some interesting combos so far that I've used and I do I do uh do like the combos for this. It's interesting. I don't know how much I like it, but I do Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I do like um I do like some of the combos and how they look cuz you know, they got to like they got to have a little bit of flair to them that's not just you know, power. You know, I, I got I gotta enjoy watching my attacks go through. I guess I don't know. I don't know how else to better say that. But yeah, I I do need like a second um account to play on. If I'm gonna start doing this again every you know regularly playing Black Desert, I need to find another character that I really like. Because as much as I love my Sork, it gets a little much playing on Sork every time I get on. And I am looking forward to recording tomorrow's video on the Sork, but like I said, it's a little... Sork 24-7 gets a little old. Especially because you can't mind-numbingly play Sork. You gotta kinda actually be, like, focused, paying attention, ready to actually, you know, do some combat. Uh, there is, though, a, on a positive note, there is a streamer uh, not related to any MMOs, but there's a streamer that I mod for, so I spend a lot of time just sitting in their stream helping helping her out and whatnot, and so on the positive for you guys, that means I'll be playing, I will probably attempt to play more Black Desert in my free time, which should help bring better videos uh, and more frequent videos because I can get stuff done for videos which should be really nice. Uh, obviously, during those times, I won't be recording, per se, but I can grind my sort while I'm watching that or doing whatever because she usually streams for about five hours, every, like six times a week or something like that, and I try to do my best to mod as much as I possibly can for her. Um, I think I've gone over this with you guys before, but Wednesdays, obviously, I have work um, at night. I close the office for the place that I work at. So, not home that night. So, that's probably the only night I won't be able to mod for. But every other night, I should be home to mod. And, yeah. So, essentially, what I'm trying to say... Okay, I don't know why I can't kill that, dude. Uh, essentially, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to be playing Black Desert and, you know, other games. I might try to get on Final Fantasy while I'm doing those streams. Because there's some queuing in Final Fantasy for some of the stuff that you got to get done for the main story. So I might be able to get on Final Fantasy and get back into that. I really want to get into Final Fantasy. I just haven't. You, you know? I, like, I got into it, but I just didn't have time to really get into it and be into Black Desert. So, yeah. Pretty much just a random update. I feel like my Black Desert videos are what gets the most views. So I kind of like to use the beginning of each video to kind of go over a little bit of stuff I think you guys would be interested in knowing so i thought i'd let you guys know that i'm gonna try my best to actually play bdo when i mod streams for uh, i get there's two people i mod for but i don't really mod for the other person all that much they don't need me they have a bunch of mods but the person that i try to mod for the most uh, she only has like two or three mods so if i can be there i try to be helpful and mod for her. so what we're going to be doing today let's get into what we're going to be doing today so we're going to kill um red nose here and then after we do that i'll skip ahead um and i'll get us to the point where we need to kill the goblins so we can you know have just action-packed episodes i don't want to have too much dialogue we've seen that a million times i'll probably wait i don't know um at least a few months maybe right before Maybe right before um, Fantasy Star Online, whenever that happens is. Whenever Fantasy Star Online is going to come out, 
like the very the, the last playthrough I do on this before that comes out. Not the last playthrough I ever do, but the last playthrough before that comes out, I will do um, a video. My turn. I'll do I'll do a series with the story and everything. But I think we've seen that enough. I've done that enough, and we might even do that on PlayStation, um, just to make use of my Black Desert purchase I made on PlayStation. All right, let's see how badly we kill poor Red Nose here. And, like, four-shotted him. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what's going to happen early here. But I want to get us progressed towards later in the game so that we can get to 56 and get awakened and all of that different stuff. Uh, because, obviously, we need to get there. I want to grab level 14 real quick here before we leave. And I'll clear these guys out for anybody else coming here to fight who doesn't have ridiculously OP gear like I do. Okay, so there's level 14. I think the goal is right now is to hit level, um, at like, because I have this weapon and it shouldn't be an issue to fight with just this weapon, I think I want to try to get to like level 40, mid 40s before I really try to mess with any skills or whatnot. I would like to, I think that's a decent spot to get to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut ahead here. I'm going to get through the beginning little area in the town. And then I'll meet you guys back for um, the goblins when we got to kill the goblins. And then obviously the goblin boss. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so this is new since I was at this part of the game. Uh, it gives you crossroad choices, so there must be a bunch of new crossroad choices as my guess. Uh, so this one is more about finding information on goblins because Gresha doesn't want to help you. It's about acquiring information for Gr uh, That's the normal one. Let's go with this one because why the heck not? So we need to learn about goblin fences. Learn goblin intelligence and learn about the goblin and the blackstone. So does this require me to kill anything, or is this literally just me interacting with stuff? I'm really hoping that it's killing things. I did complete a bunch of quests. Um, I need to turn them in. But, yeah, so th that needs to happen. I need to go turn those in. What is this over here? <laughs> does Parky have a quest for me? No? Okay. Just just an interactable spectrum of knowledge for me to gain. Okay, how far away do we have to go for this? I thought it would be fairly close. It's, it's really not that close. I'm really hoping that I did not pick some weird non-combat related thing, because I want to actually, you know, I want to fight stuff, which I know you get to do if you do Grush's side, so... I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I do have something to show you guys. I did buy, I did spend like 10 million gold for a couple of things. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I bought them simply because they'll be great for new characters. That way I don't have to transfer over my gear from my Sork because I don't want to transfer my gear from my Sork. What I should do is move Asula's stuff to, um, to the starting area because that would make it really easy, but that's okay. I'll show you guys when I get a sh chance here. Might as well kill some goblins along the way since it doesn't look like that's what we're going to be doing. Am I really just going to investigate this fence? Okay, this is this is not what I wanted. So now I need learn about goblin intelligence. Is there just... Hello? Okay, so they're both back over this way. Okay. Let's see here. I just want to start, let's see, this path looks pretty straight. Okay, do that. Okay, just start running this way. All right, let me show you guys while we're waiting to get there. I went ahead and picked up Tri Bears. It was like two million an item piece, so I just decided that it would be worthwhile. I mean, you can see, if I take these off, I can't take them off. Uh, well, they're worth five, five a piece. They're all worth five. Um, I am going to get the necklace eventually. It's 12, but this is what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then this is 6 right now. So it's 31 extra attack, which, you know, isn't amazing, but it's pretty good. How close am I to where I need to be right now? 
Okay, we're still not there yet. It's like good enough, and so that's why I'm pretty. I was I was okay buying. It, it was only like 10 mil. I can transfer it to characters right when I start them. It's whatever. If I decide I don't need or want them, I can just sell them because there's not a whole lot of tries up. I think I bought all the try that was up. For some reason, whoever was selling the try was selling it for really, or yeah, the try was selling it for really cheap. Uh, they could have been like three plus million each, uh, but instead that person was selling them for a whole lot less. Where the heck am I going right now? This is not this is not the episode that I planned, and I don't know why it's like. Hold on. Let me just follow the. It's trying to take me up through a. Oh my gosh! It's trying to take me through the cliff. Gonna have to do this navigation all on my own. Where am I supposed to be going right now? I don't think I've ever come this way in my entire time of playing BDO. Where am I? Can I outsmart the game and go this way? Uh, some of these cliffs you can jump up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now, now we're cooking. I literally don't think I've ever come over here in my entire time playing BDO. Like, literally don't think. I, and I don't want to go through the water. That's really slow. Alright. This is certainly a different quest. Probably should cut this out, but, you know, now we're talking and I might as well just finish my run there. Strong enemy nearby. Who's the strong en What's the strong enemy? Is that the giant elk? Really? Does the giant elk fight me? No, just runs away. Okay. Um, tomorrow's episode will be an important episode because I think I might just get the Black Abyssal weapon finally on my Sork so that I can have it for all these new characters I start because it would make logical sense. And then I can sell this weapon that I bought on here like an idiot. Uh, and then I don't ever have to buy a weapon again because I can just keep exchanging the Black Abyssal weapon. And it's good enough to get you to like level 56, which is pretty much... All I take characters that aren't my Sork, if we're being honest. So I think that's the best thing that I can do for tomorrow's video. I know it's not like super Sork related because we're just getting Black Abyssal, but I feel like it's an important thing to do. Where am I going? This is like the journey to the other side of the dimension. Where? What is this? I like came from up here and then it told me to jump down and then... What am I doing? Run away, elk. What on earth? Um. Um, hello? Okay, I'm just gonna let this game figure out whatever the heck it's doing. I don't know why that's marked on the map. I'm so confused. But yes, I'm gonna get the Black Abyssal weapon because I plan to do... A lot more play like 1 through 56s. Uh, I have a couple of ideas of stuff that I can do to make it more exciting than me just playing on a new character every every week. But I'm not quite sure. I think I, I think it's one week you have to wait before you can swap what the Black Abyssal weapon is. So we'll see. So I don't know where on earth this is taking me. This is really weird. I see like the beam of light that it's trying to take me to, but I don't know what it's doing. I really don't know. I'm going to give it like another minute and then I'm just going to cut ahead to where there's much more exciting things going on than me running around in a circle talking to myself because that's essentially what's happening right now. Because I would really like, I really wanted the combat and I thought, you know, picking the other one would derive more combat because but I, but I'm wrong okay you know what? I'm gonna give you guys some combat let's kill all these idiots here ooh that's a new attack that I didn't know I had okay I am f okay what is that wait what what I don't know how I did that attack that was really cool though was it hmm I have no idea what that attack was. I don't know, but I'm actually getting... I'm getting some stuff to... Oh, we gotta go down in this cave. That's what's happening. I see. I was at the right location. I just didn't go down in the cave. 
And I definitely know I'd have never came in this cave before. Never. Ever have I gone down here, I don't think. So this is new, at least. We, we've entered a new area. What is my auto-pathing doing? We've entered a new area, and I'm very excited about that. But I don't think... I don't think this is going to be as cool as it should have been. Because now... Now if I do this, it's going to take me out of here. Yeah, it's just going to take me out of here. This is a cool area. You guys could, you guys couldn't have used this a little bit more? Like, had me do literally anything down here? Look at this. This is like a big area. It's really nice. What is over here? Goblin mural? Okay, well, I completed the black learning about the Blackstone, so I don't know what it was. I don't know where that was taking me, but I found the right place all on my own. Um, hey, chill, buddy. Quest. Do I have to talk to Black Spirit for this quest? Yes, okay. Manu, okay, so we need to go reveal, so no, no, still no combat. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get us to a point with some combat here because this was an epic failure taking the side quest. I thought it would be more fun and I thought it would be more interesting, but obviously... I was very wrong, so I'll see you guys in a second. My bad. Okay, so I guess we just go to the boss fight right after doing that, so that was very anticlimactic. I started this because we've all seen this cutscene and I can't skip it, so I decided to not make you guys watch the whole entire thing of Gaia spawning in. So yeah, the, this this episode just, you know, did not, did not turn out as planned. Just did not turn out as planned but but we still got a little bit of time left before i called an episode and oh my gosh he did a oh my gosh he did a lot of damage i was not prepared for that much damage i do have this so we should be putting that on what would that take my defense up from six that almost doubled my defense so actually was pretty worth it did i just straight kill him before he could i killed him before he could change forms Okay, and I'm getting burned. Um, I think now we gotta go all the way to the quarry mine before we get to fight or do anything else. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh no, wait, wait. I don't... No, the next part is the the castle, right? That's like that like broken down castle. Is that the next part? Can't even remember. Let's quickly, you know, we need a little combat in this episode. Let's get to, let's get to 16 off of some goblins. Come here, little buddies. Uh, there's more guys back this way. My camera work is a little shoddy at best. I really like some of the combos that you can pull off with this. What? I don't know. What? This, okay, I figured out how to do this. It's LB and RB. And that is insane. That attack is sick. Like, that attack is one of the cooler attacks in the game. Like, I do love the Lon's, like, skywalking. But that's, like, an actual, like, usable attack. And I really like it. And it's not, like, super convoluted to use. Like, some of my sorceress things I like to do. It's like a full-on combo. Yeah, that thing I can just whip out anytime I want. I don't actually have to combo anything. So, I guess we don't have to cut ahead here because we'll talk to Beetle and then we'll run up there. And pretty much we're here. So, there's not a whole lot to cut out. So, we can get to... Uh... Oh, we gotta do the Emma Bart... Oh, we gotta do the Emma Bartali thing real quick. I'm just gonna leave it in. I'm just gonna leave it in. Uh, um, but yeah, that's a really cool attack. This character is growing on me, and we're, we aren't even to, like, any advanced things with her, really. I'm assuming her awakening just makes her better. I can't imagine it makes her worse. Is that thing not... Uh... I can't tell how much damage this actually does. Uh, I think it's pretty good, but I can't really tell. Yeah, I think each one of those, like... Or wait, is that just LB? Oh, it's just LB. Oh my gosh, that makes it even better. That combos really nicely then. So you can be 
just fighting, you get a little bit overwhelmed, and you just whip that out. That is actually... I might be my favorite attack. There's some Sork explosions and stuff that I really love, but... I don't know, that's a contender for favorite attack in the game. I'm not gonna lie. The character is growing on me. I mean, like, I'm not... See, I love my Sork, but I'm not, like, progressed enough in my Sork, really, if you think about it. I'm 58. It's not like I have, like, a level 63 Sork or anything like that. So, what my point is, is that I'm not quite sure that I'm past the point where I could change to be a Tamer main. Because, to be fair, I really like the playstyle so far of the Tamer. And, like, obviously, I know this game is built on PvP. But, you know, I'm not a big PvP person if you've watched the channel. I love my PvE. I really wish this game had dungeons and stuff like that. But I'm hoping that Crimson Desert is is our PvE Black Desert game. So, Crimson Desert's also a mod, but it's also a thing that uh, Pearl Abyss announced. So, I'm hoping it's a more PvE-oriented MMORPG from them. And I would be all over that. I would be so all over that game. Even if it was PC exclusive, I would, uh, yeah, I would play the crap out of it. Um, it would probably be one of the few. I want to keep the PC MMORPGs to a minimum on the channel. But if that occurred, you know, we'd have to be into that. Because if this game had, if this game had some, like, dungeons and raids and all of that different stuff for me to do, it would be, like... It would consume all my time, but some of the grinding gets a little bit too much for me. Like, sitting here grinding one thing all day is, is a little... It's a little tiresome for me. Like, sitting here for, like, five hours grinding the same mob over and over again. Especially on controller. I think it'd be a little bit easier on PC. I think it would be a lot easier on PC because it's a little more clicking and less, like... Some of the combos on Xbox are also just tiltingly annoying to try to pull off. So, my point is is that I think console farming is is really tough like from the standpoint of um from the standpoint of being dedicated to it. But that's just my opinion. I just wish it I just wish it was a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more easier to do on console. There's a lot of a lot of the best combos require your full attention, especially on obviously on Sork that I use. It, it doesn't lend for a whole lot of like relax back in my chair and casually farm an area. Uh, for, uh, to farm an area that I have that I want to farm, I guess like like, I could go somewhere easy and mind-numbingly farm it, but to go anywhere that's any, you know, worth farming, it's kind of a little tough. Because I feel, I feel personally like I have to have my attention on the game. Like, I can't be, like, willy-nilly looking up at my TV, watching a football game, um, and getting distracted because it just would equate to not being able to farm that area very well or efficiently, but that's pretty much what I've come to, you know, I'm just going to come to get is that if I want to farm, I cannot be like expecting to get the optimal because that's just not how I am going to be. So I don't know. I feel like I've talked way too much about that this episode, but all right, so let's get this episode wrapped up. We, uh, I think I'll get to the point where we escape because then we can start the next episode with the mine quarry area and um, uh, we can start it with the mine quarry area and then we can go and I'll probably just skip the entire town and we'll just reconvene back. We'll just reconvene at the, the farms. That's probably what we'll do. And uh, that'll be out, I don't know, Sunday maybe. Uh, I want to take advantage of Bless Unleashed beta while I have the chance, but I also want to play this because I'm really enjoying Tamer, so I got to find a nice balance of when I'm uploading what. Because um, I got back on this, and I'm playing with this character, and I like her even more the second video uh, that we're doing for her. So I'm hoping that once we start doing skills, because like, like I said, I do want to wait... 
uh, I think I can, I think they changed this, right? I can just go in here and use this. Yeah. Let's pop on these gloves when we get a chance. Get our defense up even more. I am going to buy an outfit. I think I'm going to buy it for the next, um, I'm going to buy it for the next episode. I'm going to get an outfit. I was hoping, actually I didn't check. I didn't look at the patch notes, so before I say something stupid, we're going to look. Let me put these gloves on. I did not look, but I don't think they added any new outfits. I want them to add more out. Yeah, it's still these four. Oh, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. This is new. This is new. They took out the other one, which was like the black wings, and they added this, which I really like this, and we're going to get it. I'm going to get it for the next episode because I really like this outfit. So what does it look like? Is that one they released for everybody? Atanus? Yeah, they released it for everybody. It's a it's a global or it's a universal skin. There's some really cool skins for my sort that came out just while we're here. I really like this skin. That skin's really sick. Um... Uh, is that the only one? I feel like there was another one that I really liked. I See, I don't... I love all these skins, but I don't want to get any of them, really, because I want to use the skin that I have on my Sork that's the exclusive, like, from back in May that, like, no one has. We do have to do a Mystic. That's gonna happen. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a Mystic one of these times, but... She has, like, no outfits. She has this, like, awakening outfit that comes with some scrolls and whatnot, but... Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. We did find... We did find that. I'm gonna buy it after this episode's over because I don't want to forget and then have it disappear or something like that because that would be tragic because that's the first Tamer one that I really love. I love the one with the, uh, with the lace sleeves, but I don't really like the whole outfit as a whole. So I really like that one as a whole, though. Uh, I don't love it as much that it's kind of a universal one. I kind of wish it was a class exclusive. I, I like the class exclusive ones a little bit better than the universal ones. But, but, I'm not going to sit here and act like... Did I get... I always, like, don't grab this quest from him. Or I don't grab the quest from someone. I grab, grab, blah, blah, blah. There we go, okay. Didn't grab the quest from the Black Spirit. That was my mistake. Okay, and away we go. Let's go ahead and slaughter these guys on our way out of Crone Castle. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I hate, the, I hate this so much while I record videos and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Okay, I think we're good. I need to kill the five bow and arrow guys for... Beetle. Okay, there's one over here in this corner. Need to find five scouts to appease Beetle. Get 3% per kill, which is actually pretty good. Kill those. I hope that's not what I wanted. I wonder... I want to test something. Hey, you, come here. Come here. I need to test something on you. Can I hit through the wall? I don't think so, but maybe. All right, buddy, come here. I want to test something on you. There we go. No, you can't hit him through the wall. Okay. I don't know why I wanted to test that, but I did. And you can't hit him through the wall. So I tested. It didn't work. Kind of disappointed it didn't work. But, you know, that's, ju that's just how it goes. We got to kill these stupid two more archers. So I can complete this quest for Beetle. We're up to level 17, which is nice. We're still getting pretty good experience from these guys. Dang it, I was hoping I could hit all three of them. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting left bumper instead of left trigger. I need to get a new controller, because even if I wasn't, like, accident accidentally doing it, if I hit the top part of my left trigger, like, up here, it sometimes will, it'll count as the left bumper. It's just, I think it's just because the controller's kind of, it's not old. It's only, like, a year old, but I think it's just the controller's worn, and because it is, that's just how it works. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much just right now holding off for uh, the new Xbox and new PlayStation that are going to come out next year. 
so that I can buy, I just want to buy a pair of expensive controllers and be done with it for a while. Like, whatever the Xbox Elite controller that comes out with the new Xbox, whatever that is, that I want to pick that up. And then I'll probably end up getting a scuff for PlayStation. But I want to wait until, I don't want to get them for this generation. There's only a year left. I don't want to spend, like, $200 for an Elite controller for, for one year. Like, uh, it's stupid to me. Now, if this controller actually breaks down and I have to buy a new controller, I'll probably just get the Elite controller because at that point it's only like 100 bucks more and I might as well just get it. But I think we're at a good point to end this video. We're going to talk to Beetle here. We're going to turn in our quest, grab the new one, and we're going to head back and meet Emma Bartali and Velia. So pretty much we got a ways to go before we get to the mine. There's a lot of talking and dialogue. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a big old like if you did, subscribe if you have not, and I will catch you guys in the tomorrow's video. Uh, we'll get the Black Abyssal weapon for this character, as well as maybe something else. I don't know how long that quest is. I think it's kind of long, but I want to do it all in tomorrow's video, so we'll see We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stop blabbing on. Drop the video like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.